Good afternoon guys, it's a 4.22 p.m. Today is Tuesday and it was a very choppy day today, you know. Yes, move happened but, you know, reading wise it was difficult. And price just played the game. It was heavily manipulated price, you know. So, but anyway, I'll explain. So, I'm looking for a run today for either side. Globex mid is important. So, does high and lows of Globex. Ultimate goal for either party is our backup sellers and buyers area, which you will see in the chart. I am neutral for today, will that opening price action decides my directions today due to daily time frame in balancing mode. So daily time frame in balancing mode, that means price can do ping pong, you know. If I want to see both NQ and ES in sync, moving together. If they are not in sync, it will be difficult to trade. Now you can see today they were not in sync actually, you know. So if you look at it, ES was holding in the morning while NQ was tanking. They were not in the sink, right? So when they are not in the sink, difficult to trade. 1150, 97, 27 may initiate the move, right? Three levels. In back of my mind, I like to favor shorts, but we will wait till open, okay? So now 97, right? So this is 97 area basically. This is 97. See how price chopped around 97 here. Here it one time sliced through it, but then again came back up. See, once it goes back up, price tends to go higher. See, here, higher, higher. Once it goes lower, it you want it to stay lower. Okay, so look at here. See, see, once it goes lower, you want it to stay lower. The moment here, see here again 97 touch, right then it didn't go higher came back down and then ran up right so but anyway so 4009 is a hunting exchange area right so this is important area it's exchange area and look at this top 09 right which is this so but before that so right of the open while nq was tanking right es was holding here in this area Okay. So it was not moving actually. See that was the off situation. While NQ is tanking, ES is holding into support. So ES is basically waiting for NQ to go into support. Right? Since it broke below this, obviously next area is this support. So when price came here, I said, you know what, now it's difficult to even, I wanted to short. See in Discord I said, I will go long only above this uh, Globex high. I will not take any longs below Globex range or within Globex range but shorts I am open for any levels in between Globex range so 9 to 10 to 12, uh, 09 uh, then if it goes through this area nicely then I may short take a shot here at 97 you know or maybe here but no longs within this area only longs allowed are above this area that was we discussed in the pre-market notes uh, sorry pre-market discord so well, well that idea in mind right obviously I'm not going to take a shot here because price is balancing there is no breakdown at this five minute first five minute bar right candle you can see there was a breakdown going on at that time live but I wanted to see five minute candle close below it but instead it closed higher up into the support while NQ was still thinking well this guy did not even close below this so that is a problem so now I said you know you can even go long if this thing is taken out you know? so this thing is taken out now this way see that now technically this was VWAP right so here there was a short here also but then you can't take it because now you know this buyers are there and NQ is in the support. So if NQ bounces, ES will bounce more. You know? So now you cannot short it. Only thing you can do is go long, which I said in Discord if someone wants to go long, but I'm not taking long here. You know? So when ES went higher, right? I said just watch NQ also. You know, you want NQ to go higher too. Because NQ was weak, right? Of the open. So there was a divergence between them. And they were out of sync also. But only thing I can do is a short, right? Look for shorts. So when NQ 
was here right it tried to break out about this high see that here right at that time you can see es was touching this 09 right but that was not the reason for short it's area where i can short but now you know it's like breaking out of this area and it's going moving higher right another reason was this so this things it was rising so that was i said in discord the day is going to be tough because now i'm looking for short against this rising internals you know so there was a strong bullish disconnect here because price was so close to the gap fill and instead of ad being zero it was plus 1100 so it was a bullish disconnect here also right so i can't just short it just because i'm looking for short right but if there is a divergence or something you know then i have to wait and then take an action but still that short is going to be risky because now I'm just you know shorting it right here you know so against the internals okay so when NQ went higher here it did not made a new high but ES like made a new high for the day at 09 right so I was wondering that okay if it fills the gap and see what it does you know so but it, it couldn't reach there so now that's the like a red light here you know like a warning sign AD despite being this strong price couldn't even fill the gap right see here at this poke it should have just gone through it but NQ you know see the NQ NQ did not even reach this level also right then NQ falls correct like this I saw this as a sign you know but still it was risky you know I was here I was watching I said watch 4004 ideally I want this bias to hold over 4004 which is this line so I said watch it you know so here first time you can see it here this pullback happened at 4004 right so I wanted to see bias stepping in and, and I wanted to see price going here you know so but then you can see it here it went higher about this high correct but then it failed see at this point looking at all this strongness in ED momentum price you do not want to see price even coming down after making new high immediately you know you want because it was like only two points it has to go higher you know to fill the gap so here that's the weakness to me you know i didn't even waited for 4004 to be broken down actually that was the right trade right here you know this was the right trade i took it at 4006 earlier you know which is i made it in hurry so I shot it right here you know? so and then I just hang on to it you know and then I, my target was this area you know? so or even this so it was moving down 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 right so here it confirmed it that okay whatever I thought here it was good right so now it was moving NQ was moving down too right but see NQ prop technically entered this area 94 to 630 up to this is a support preferred buyers area right so NQ can bounce anywhere but this was a first time test so it bounced second time it slides through it I want NQ to hold below this area you know this line and 646 that's the level I said NQ has a support at 646 which was not listed here so NQ came down straight to 646 here right ES came down to this 90 area I also gave 90 also I said 90 is also one of the level but it is not my level but I saw it in a chart so I'm just giving you you know but that is not I was looking for I was looking for lower here but damn thing bounce from it here see that and now I wanted to see it's holding below 97 you no know, 95 and 4000 was my line in sand okay so I want sellers to hold it below 4000 best case scenario you know but good thing is need to hold below 97 right so here it bounced I said okay fine then it came down then again it bounced right then here it, clo it went close to 97 or 95 right then again it came down now it broke out here I am out you know, I cut it this short I cut it right here I said now you can even go long but wait till 4000 the moment 4000 here is touched it right then it came down and look at this balance it held it here see this was a log right there you know, I said you can take a long if you want to, but now I'm not taking longs. Now my my day is screwed up. 
close i just stop trading right here i even close the discord also i said you know what no more trading right here and that's pretty much it you know so and then you can take this long and this long worked out right all the way up to this see at this point you don't want to see price falling because then it it solidified the idea that day is good up right so price went higher 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 see at this point you can see when price came down here see now i'm explaining all this thing see when price came down here this was a divergence also right so that is always a justification whether someone wants to go long with the internals or they want to pay attention to price right so here there was a bounce because it was a really divergence we knew that you know but i didn't want to believe that buyers are that strong somehow this ad doesn't seems good today you know something was off despite this ad price should not have even come down by looking at this ad but still it did right so but anyway so it, the reason for a bounce was this strong bullish ad divergence okay then when it es made a new low here you can see this thing also still pointing higher strong ad bullish divergence see that's why it's difficult to hold short but still i held this short but when i see this right i have to bail out and now you can even go long here because of these things you know because now internals and price are in sync then look, looking at this it should have gone higher right but you can see it, this thing also came down again see this is wrong so that means somebody is messing up with the price you know and then you look at see here like this this fall happened say i didn't trade it all this thing right i was just watching and then look at this say at this point i was so sure that it will go to here now you know because it went through this big for bias area and then even someone even sold it here too right so it's like moving down at this point right it is still diverging see that so but nq barely went below this last low see that because it went into this support final line 630 see that 630 to 694 and damn thing bounce see that after bouncing here you still can't go long now see now you cannot go long up to here you can go long now once price goes below this you cannot go long here right so you have to just watch but ideally you want sellers to hold it below this area but here look at this it slides through it pull back here same area pretty much right and then ran up same thing here also see that so this longs you can play but it is not ideal to play you know this is not in line this is like something this move is a manipulated move all these things say it's a random bounce from 80 so because of nq being it 630 it bounced right so but internals played the big part today you know it prevented price in going down now tomorrow i have no clue so this is heavily manipulated price if you look at daily uh, actually daily if you look at it say these things do you see any trend here no trend see up to here it was right but then look at this bigger swings up down up down up down see that so this is not the environment to trade actually you know and that's why you are seeing all this garbage nuisance you know uh, and that be all for today